The physical world is full of places where Cartesian coordinates are not necessarily the easiest way to solve a problem. There are a lot of different coordinate systems that have been created specifically to help you solve these problems easier. For example, what if we wanted to find the centroid of a semicircle? We know that the semicircle is x squared plus y squared equals r squared, but solving for either x or y to go into these formulas is not something I would care to do. I, I like integrating square roots and things. So the, the critical piece here is to understand what it is you're actually integrating. Because once you understand what it is, then you can do it any way you, you can, would like to do it. What we're looking at here are the x and y are the coordinates for the center of the differential area. And you've got any way of getting a differential area that you'd like. You can do vertical pieces, you can do horizontal pieces, you can also do triangles. Anything that will tessellate the space will do just fine. So in polar coordinates, which is an example of a coordinate system that you might use, the, the actual differential area for a d theta sl slice is a triangle. So my differential area is actually one half base times height. Well, my base is going to be r. My height, and this comes from the arc length formula, the height of my triangle is r d theta. As my theta becomes very skinny, this curvature becomes unimportant. So now I have a differential area that I can use. What do I actually integrate? What are these integrands? These are the coordinates for the centroid of my differential area. So if I look at what my differential area is, what are the coordinates? What are x and y? The coordinates here are going to be two-thirds of the way out my triangle, because it's a right triangle at a differential level. So I can say that this is two-thirds of r sine and cosine of this angle. These are the coordinates. Those go into the integrands. And I can just say that x is two-thirds r cosine theta and two-thirds r sine theta. These are, become the integrands here, and this is the deep differential area we just found and you can integrate these straight out. The nice thing about this is that you're integrating d theta from 0 to pi, and 1 half r squared comes out straight out, and you have cosine theta d theta, or sine theta d theta, which are not exactly very complicated integrals compared to the square roots we would have had if we didn't change the coordinate system. So the next sort of question to think about is, what does a differential area look like if you wanted to do dr? Well, then you'd have concentric rings as you are going out. That also would work for a sh this particular shape, not perhaps as well, but if you wanted to show that the centroid of the circle is in the middle, that's a good way to start. There are a lot of coordinate systems. Make sure you understand what it is you're integrating, and then you're free to choose any of them that you'd like.